Hey guys, it is Sunday. I am filling up my car right now because I have a truck to the airport. I'm also, after I fill my gas up, I have to go to Whole Foods. I have not prepared for this trip yet, which is very unlike me, but things have just been like really out of control. So originally today I was supposed to be working a flight down to Miami and then I was gonna airline home from Miami. So that's why I made like that whole coronavirus video I published earlier. And now, since the coronavirus is a thing, my company doesn't want its employees airlining anywhere. So now I'm going to Jamaica for two nights uh, on the private jet and it should be a good time. So due to scheduling changes and I just had a very hectic weekend, a lot of stuff going on. I really needed just like a day to myself yesterday and I'm okay. I don't want to make it out to be like a thing. If I feel like you guys need to know, certainly I'll share that. Um, but my flight doesn't leave till later in this afternoon. So I just felt like I could go to Whole Foods, get all my catering done right before the flight and it should be fine. I only have two passengers now, so it's nothing too crazy. Enough chit chat, time for Whole Foods. Okay, I'm bending over my car to show you guys what I got from Whole Foods. This might be easier to do on the airplane, um, but I picked up some Brussels sprouts for a side and then tandoori sweet potatoes. Um, when you're plating food, color is always very important. Thanks for bearing with me. I also got a giant salad. I plan on eating this, but I figured if passengers want this too, it's another good dinner option. As you can see, there's a bunch of snacks in here, stuff for a cheese plate. And here I've got veggies and cheese uh, for crudite, just some meats and stuff. And I got grilled chicken. I'm gonna have to show you this from the hanger cause I'm like ripping the bags already. So stay tuned, I'll show you guys. And I picked up a little something to pep me up too. Actually, there's a lot of caffeine in there. That's going to perk me up a lot. Um, this is super good. This pop and bottle vanilla cold brew almond latte. Dairy-free, sugar-free, high in caffeine, perfect for a flight attendant. Now I'm going to head to the hangar and get this all loaded on the airplane. Um, I spent $267 to feed two passengers, me and the pilots. And that includes a uh, full dinner tonight plus crudite. And that includes a cheese platter for when we leave on Tuesday. This way I don't have to pick up any cheeses or anything like that when we're in Jamaica. Overall, pretty good. Definitely less expensive than airline catering. Oh, you know what? I have to go back in. I forgot to get dessert for my passengers. So I'm actually gonna go back in, grab something sweet, and I'll be right back. All right, crisis averted. I picked up two, uh, actually I picked up three of these, one for each passenger, and then the pilots generally don't eat dessert, but I figured they might wanna share one today. So I just got these little fruit tarts. turbulent otherwise uneventful flight uh, I'm here in my hotel in the bathroom because that's where the lighting is good at two o'clock in the morning weather delayed us a little bit when we were leaving we had to de-ice and at the FBO they let us know their de-icing truck was broken and that's the only one they had so we had to wait for them to repair it and eventually we made our way out and then by the time we cleared customs and immigration and took the our van right over here it's now 2 a.m. So I'm going to bed. I'll check in with you guys when I am more rested. And before I go to sleep though, I am spraying my homemade sanitizer. Uh, I'll link the video down below for you guys to watch. It's just vodka and peppermint oil and it's a natural way to keep bugs off of your things. Never use that pillow.
Good morning. I'm ready to check out this view outside. Oh, come on. Oh, it looks like a nice day. It was supposed to rain the whole time we're here, but it doesn't look like it's going to. I'm gonna start my day off with a collagen shot. I've never tried this. Normally I just have the unflavored powder in my coffee, but we'll see what this is like. And then I'm gonna go downstairs and check out breakfast. Well, hello again. I am back from breakfast. Breakfast was so good. They had something called Callaloo, which is like native to Jamaica. It was like stewed veggies and there was salt fish in it. It was fabulous. So I had some callaloo and salt fish on tostones, which are like my favorite thing. And then I had an omelet and some hot sauce and holy shit, it was hot sauce. Uh, this might be too much info. It made my mouth water and I didn't want to swallow my spit because it was on fire, but the taste of it was everything. So I quickly learned my lesson about how much hot sauce I put on my food. And I've decided uh, me and the pilots are gonna walk over to a local supermarket. I love doing that on layovers just to see what the locals eat in different places. Um, but also I definitely wanna bring some of that hot sauce home for me and Johnny. So I'll warn him before he eats it, but that's pretty much the plan for today. Before I head over to the market with the guys, uh, I have an expense report to do naturally because that takes up most of my free time. Uh, but I will show you guys what I pick out at the market and the views on the way there. a productive layover so far. I've gotten two out of my four expense reports done. Uh, number three is really quick. It's just a hotel receipt. Uh, one of my coworkers ended up taking a trip I was supposed to be on, but the reservation was under my name. So I just need to expense that really quick. And as far as the fourth expense report, I need my computer for that one because um, it was a contract trip and I don't have the information saved on my phone. No big deal, I can do that one at home. When I was looking through my phone though, I got onto my email and officially my company has suspended all employee travel through March due to the coronavirus. So obviously we'll be able to fly home, we're on the jet. Uh, but I don't know what this means for my future trips that I have out there. Obviously, I'm not going to be contracting. The less exposure I have to traveling different city, different people, different places, obviously is going to be the best because I don't want to get sick and I don't want to transfer it to my family members. But yeah, I don't know how long it's going to be until I fly again. This whole thing has been really interesting. I'm curious to see what's going to happen in the future. I'm very glad that I have a full-time gig now and I'm on salary. I won't be struggling too much to get those bills paid, but I might be struggling to get you guys information when I'm on my trips. So that being said, if you guys have questions, I think I'll be filming a Q and A or a few Q and A's coming up. So definitely put any questions that you have down below and maybe I'll post this on the community tab page too. This way I can just keep in touch with you guys until I start flying again. I look awful. I kind of feel awful. It's so hot outside. We are back from lunch. We got some Jamaican jerk chicken, naturally. And we walked to the supermarket. I wanted to pick up the same hot sauce that I had for breakfast this morning. And I picked some out along with a few other Jamaican novelty items. And they don't accept my card there and I don't have cash. So I don't know. I'm gonna try again tomorrow 
because our flight was pushed back. We were supposed to be leaving mid-afternoon. Now we're not leaving until 5 p.m. We're dropping someone off in Miami and then we're going home. So I've added a passenger, added a stop, added a few hours to my layover. All in all, a good day. It's dinner time. We're just staying here at the hotel to eat. So I'll call it my research time just to check out the menu and see what I should order for catering tomorrow. I've been thinking about what I wanna do. I feel like the flight from Jamaica to Miami, it's an hour and 40 minutes, so it's actually longer than I thought it was gonna be. Uh, so initially I was just gonna use the extra vegetables and cheese that I had and do crudite and a cheese platter and then order catering in Miami to serve a full meal for the flight home but I feel like an hour 40 is kind of long and I should have like a hearty meal option for my passengers. So I'm gonna take a look at the menu tonight, see what's going on. I did also get that request for jerk chicken. So I'm for sure gonna pick some of that up tomorrow and it has to be served on the flight to Miami because I can't take it internationally. So once we're in Miami, if it's not served, it's trash. And that pains me every time. So this is what I spent my afternoon doing, like kind of. It was a mixture between this and being on the internet. I feel like this book really tricked me with a clever name. I thought it was gonna be awesome. It's preachy. It talks about things that I'm just not into. It did say go into the book with an open mind. I tried to. It's just like a bootleg version of reading the book, The Secret. I've read plenty of books about manifesting and if you believe it, you can achieve it and that sort of thing. And this just doesn't feel like anything new. And I'm upset because I finished a really good book on my way to Jamaica on the flight. So now I feel like I'm just stuck reading this until I'm done with it. I'm always like that with books though. Like I get into a book or I'm not even into this book, but I start reading a book and I always have to finish it. And I've got a long way to go because I can't focus on it. So leave me with some good book recommendations because I'm gonna need something good after this one. back from dinner and ready for bed. Tomorrow I'm gonna pick up the jerk chicken like I said and I don't think I'm gonna get any appetizers here from the hotel. The food was really good, it's not a food issue. I just think I have enough food on the plane for my vegetarian. And again, since we're going from out of the country back into the country, I have to get rid of any food that I have on board. So I don't wanna be wasteful, I wanna make sure I use it all. And then I have a preliminary catering order for when we get into Miami. I'm waiting to hear from one of the pilots to see what he's gonna order. If he doesn't respond to my text messages in a few minutes, I'm gonna pick the salmon for him. He's had fish the whole trip. I feel like that's probably a safe choice. It's 11 o'clock here now, time for me to go to bed. We're meeting downstairs at eight for breakfast. Oh, and by the way, so my trip is not changing times. It was like a scheduling mishap we were supposed to leave at three and then I saw it changed to five in our scheduling system. We're still leaving at three, which is awesome. I'm not getting home super duper late. Where was I going with that? Okay, I remember. Um, I'm gonna have catering ready for us when we land in Miami to take us back home. That's what I was gonna say. So unless the pilot gets back to me soon, I'll be showing you tomorrow what I ordered for everybody. back from breakfast. I got my catering order confirmation. I'm caffeinated, so we're off to a good start today. In about 20 minutes or so, me and the pilots are gonna walk to pick up some jerk chicken and jerk pork for the flight to Miami. I'm just gonna put it out as a little snack board. I'm not serving full meals on this flight. I've already mentioned this, um, but I plan on taking pictures because I was looking at some comments 
on my other videos and you guys wanted to see more food pictures and kind of see what the galley looks like. So I'm not always able to do this because normally I have very high passenger loads and flights are just super busy and I, I can't always show you the interior of the airplane, but I'm gonna try to start showing you guys more when I can. you guys very much for coming along to Jamaica with me and watching this vlog. Please make sure that you do leave me a thumbs up. Also subscribe to my channel. If you do have any questions, comments, thoughts, or concerns, just post them down below for me and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you again for watching.